Okay, so I got the idea here. I was thinking, uh, Sima, uh, Sima Leo's movie, we need somebody else in it, you know, because he needs to go back in time. Because everybody knows that he's a barbarian. He needs to go back in time. Arnold. We get old Arnold. He's, he's Conan, and that's how his Conan is just in the Marvel Universe. Easy, easy Conan. Funner, like, less things taken seriously because the old movies were, like, not taking themselves too seriously, which was bad because it made now, fans angry. Like, you add in all the awesome 3D data and cool new effects and, and techniques. Yeah, so what I was saying is we have, um, what's his face? Uh, God, I'm trying to think of his name. Um, Jason Momoa. He's Gar Shasp the fucking Barbarian, you know. It's from the worst Xbox Live arcade video game that nobody fucking remembers. Anyways, uh, and he wields the Mace of Trit. You know, it's a giant, like, mace. You could, it could either be super dark. Okay, here's what I was thinking, because I had two ideas, so I always just transfer between them. It's super dark, like it's a Black Knight's mace, but then when it hits things, it, like, rings and reverberates into silver light, like, as if it flashes across its surface into brightness, like a morning sunlight, like, sort of reflected off of it effect. And it goes back to, like, you know, as it rings into quietness, into darkness. And uh, that would be his, like, weapon. So he strikes at the guys in knight's armor and stuff, and it rings, and it's all glowy, and he spins it around, and it picks up so more heat and energy with each it's blow. sort of like vibranium. Sort of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the Mace of Trit, you know what I mean? <laughs> yep. The mystical Mace of Trit. And that way, uh, he's being more interesting, because, and he doesn't have to do all this stupid sword fighting stuff, because uh, uh, he fucking sucks with sword fighting shit. And he admits to it. <laughs> And Arnold, uh, he wasn't that great either. So Arnold's just supposed to, the, the joke in this movie is, he just swings it, you know, a couple of times or waits for the right moment because he's old anyways. And it's like as if he's the best tactician in old age. So, you know, he swings right as they jump or do something and then slides the right direction, you know. You're, you're, you're kind of babying him, but it looks cool because it's new yeah. CG. And so he'll just knock somebody's blade out of the air or something and then smash them in the gut with a hilt or something. And just simple blows. But then also we have to do the whole thing where they're fighting together like giant, like clay golems, for example. And so they all like hack off either of its legs and then he comes in with the huge sword, you know, that's unrealistically huge. Yes. And like hacks his head off, you know, he's got like the humongous sword for no reason. Yeah. Anyways, the, the last thing I was going to say was Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's been more than clear that, that you know, he, he loves his horses and everything. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't care. I always point this out with every actor and actress in every film. You got to admit to who you are longer and sooner rather than later and, and harder and all that other stuff. So, um, you know, maybe we should have Arnold Schwarzenegger super late night oiled up horse cock scene like Jennifer Connelly. <laughs> what does she have to do with it, though? I don't want I, her there. No, no. I just meant there's a lot of gay people out there. And they yeah, love horses, too. And they, they like, want to ride them around in the moonlit shadows of fields full of yeah, rye I mean, and stupid we shit. Need to, we need to liberate this, this Arnold Schwarzenegger these days. I, I can't. You know, it won't be as good of a movie series if he's not getting what he wants yeah. out of it. So we just have to admit that if he's this old at this point, he's not going to do it unless he gets to say and have footage of when he yeah. was a boy, he rode horses out, you know, on, on the moonlight in the, the giant rye fields, uh, you know. Not in Austria, of course, but in some fictional land of wherever the fuck. But, well, I was going to say, not clay golems, terracotta warriors. Oh, giant terracotta, ones, yeah. Because then they can endlessly bash them to pieces as they're kind of tough, but then they're mighty warriors. So, you know, it's really fun. It creates dust effects. and Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he, he's, I assume, real upset because... If that movie Nope is true, there's only a few people doing messing around with those horses like I thought. <laughs> and uh, he doesn't approve of that. He wants lots of horses. Big horsey ranch. Dude, um, one year, a bunch of horses were in this valley that were, like, really exotic and nice looking. And uh, I was licking my lips, but, like, um, the... Like, they all vamoosed again to other areas, I guess. One of them had, like, Arabian sexy writing on it, but, like, it was just born that way. I don't know how that made any sense. 
Yeah, yeah. it was interesting. Um, so, like, there's a lot of good horses out there. And we need to have horses moving around at least the continent and, like, getting to explore new terrain and new types of food. and That's why I was saying that... that we, you know, Arnold would be the person to do it. You know, anybody who else who's like really likes horses. Yeah. You build up a big horse ranch. You have lots of breeding stock. You have lots of horses. You, in and general. then you, here's what we need to do. And you have like actor assigned yeah. horses, and they plan on doing westerns into the future. But and we things. need horse like love matching. So like horses need to go on dates, and we need to see what horses like each other, because then they make better babies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and you need to definitely be matched to your horse, like the Harry Potter one chooses the wizard at yeah. this point for actors, because we don't want anybody getting thrown off or beaten up because they're yeah, old. We and need ugly. all possible horses on different ranches in different parts of the world. You know, available because it needs to be like, yeah, you 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 can hold out and be like, dude, none of these horses are, like, working for me. Like, I've gone through, like, 5,000 horses, and they're just like, well, we'll just keep, uh, we'll just keep, uh, going yeah, to more because, obscure places. Because if you want the right actor for the film, you don't want it to be that the, that they just don't have the right horse that they yeah. can't work with. Because, like, for some films, though, like, sometimes there's the perfect horse, when you think about it this way, and maybe Arnold needs to think about it this way, and other horse people, the perfect horse then match the actor to that horse, you know? That's you a good I'm point. Saying for that perfect movie where the horse, you have certain ideas for what it does. Yeah, and I don't know. even I've better. I've read a lot of horse scripts in my day. For I have like three to five hundred horse scripts on the back burner, just so everyone's aware. I have endless horse. He's read every. Books. He's read every single stupid book. And I have like five thousand dog adventure movies ready to go, just so you're aware. <laughs> yeah, it's it's that's, true. That's, he read everything. Lot. There's a lot of them. Anyways, uh, the point I was finalizing with was just what we really need is um, uh, Lord of the Rings to be filmed in North America and South America, like I was saying. So that's why we need so many horses. Yeah. That's all. Exactly. We need all different kinds of horses. We need exotic looking horses. So it's, it's ones. time for Arnold to stop pretending he doesn't want to be a cowboy and to, uh, you know, help out the industry, I guess, because that's what he's enthusiastic about. Yeah. And I've, we're, we're pretty open about this. It's, uh, when it comes to people, um, and the sexuality of horses, what I really hate is like, you try to look up porn of horses on the internet, and it's the most despicable thing. Like, it's shameful what's been going oh, on. Oh, it's mostly just ancient DV tape videos yeah. from the 90s. And what was going on in the 90s? Brazilians drugging horses and then acting like as if just for the sight of what they're doing with them, gently and stupidly, that they'll get lots of money. Even though everybody, the horse is like literally like dying from intoxication of something. Or yeah, other. and like they're giving the horse like sexually transmitted infections. Like, yeah, like it's, it's not good. Th that's despicable. Yeah, we got to make this natural, like the old ways, you know. Yeah, Native American. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right, so Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's a big dork. And he's sort of a used car salesman, but he's got big muscles, and he seems to be copying my sort of hairstyle look, you know, which I approve of because he doesn't look hideous doing it. So, um, he's playing Craven the Hunter, and the movie's finally coming out. Um, and so this is a good connection to Simu Liu's movie where he has to go to the past and meet with Arnold, you know. And then Craven the Hunter could be somebody who's you know, hired to hunt somebody in the past, then he goes through to the future when Simu Liu does, and he's beating up Spider-Man. You see, you know, this lets this guy be as cheesy as his character is. You know, he seems to match it pretty good. But if he was truly a used car salesman, he would beat off Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, let, let's keep that... If that happens... Let's not have that in the official release. That's that's the bonus extras at DVD, whatever sex theater release. I don't need to, I don't need to know about that one though. All right, Arnold and Ferrigno are standing back to back on a battlefield surrounded by deviants as their characters in Marvel, and um, he's holding a uh, he's given um, Black Lightning a giant like war hammer. And he's like, I've never fought with medieval weapons. And then Arnold says, 
it's pretty simple. You just crush anything that comes at you. And then, uh, Ferrigno, uh... I don't know. I don't know if there needs to be any line after that. Then they just start crushing stuff, you know?